everyone, my name is Michelle and if you guys are new here, I am behind the account Posh Pancreas and today's video is going to be about my diabetes organization. As you can see here right behind me, my whole shelf of all of my diabetes essentials and other things that kind of glamify it a little bit. I can't wait to show you guys up and personal of everything that's on each shelf and I'll link down below um, where I got everything and you know recommendations on what you guys should have as a type 1 diabetic. This top shelf is just a display shelf. This eye level shelf is where I keep my diabetes supplies. This fragrance shelf also houses my diabetic bag and my grab tube jar. Here's where my storage boxes are at and my diabetes magazine. Let's look at this top shelf. This is where I keep my luxury handbags and also a display of my Posh Pancreas sign. Now this is my diabetes shelf. I got this box off of Amazon and it stores all my pods for my Omnipod. I also have my syringes, my alcohol wipes, and my disposal jar right here. Underneath there are some diabetes books, but I'll go into those later. Now this container is my sharps container, it's my disposal container, and I honestly don't use it that much, so I don't really go through it that often. In this little cute jewelry Chanel box, I have my alcohol wipes. Now onto these diabetes books. This is Sugar Linings by Sierra Sandinson. She was Miss Idaho back in 2014. Think Like a Pancreas is a good book to read, um, especially for first time diabetics. Bright Spots and Landmines is also a great book to reference as well. These are my fashion books. Um, I have a Shoe Love pop-up book and American Fashion Accessories. I also house my fragrances here and my Myabetic bag. I love my Myabetic bag. Some of my favorite fragrances are here. Mist You Are Absolutely Blooming smells so good. This is my jar of hodgepodgeness. I have my glucose tablets. I love the strawberry and raspberry flavors. I also have some um, ketone test strips here. I never really use them. I've only used them once. On the side, it can show how many ketones you have. It kind of has a range of um, colors. And I also have my freestyle test strips in here. I keep a couple on hand just in case my Dexacom fails. There's an old battery for a glucose meter and of course lancets and backup batteries. Now down below, that's where I house my Omnipod and Dexacom supplies. I also have a few diabetes magazines that I don't really read anymore. All right, so I sat down because I want to show you guys what's inside this box. So I got this box from Ikea. Um, it was only a few dollars. I'll put a link down below. And inside I keep my Omnipod supplies. I actually need to order more, um, which which is ordered right now. It just, you know, takes a week or so to get here. I have a, a backup PDM. Um, this is probably my old one. Omnipod's really good about replacing PDMs. If you have any issues, they can even overnight it to you. They have really good customers service in my opinion. I also have a box of pods. Always call before you're on your last pod or last week of pods. Call when you have a box left or call before that. I have an Omnipod case. These batteries exploded in there. Ew. I haven't used this in forever. I have an old syringe in there too. Um, ugh. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna close this back up. Um, I never use a case, like I always just toss the PDM in my bag. This cord is to hook up, you know, to my computer. I don't know why it has to be so long. I use this to upload my um, Omnipod stats for my doctor up to Gluco, so she can take a look at it. There's also a guide about the PDM. Um, I haven't updated to Dash yet. I think I kind of want to wait, because I might think about doing um, looping so I don't know I'm still debating if I want to do looping or not but that's why I haven't upgraded yet and there's like an extra case for your PDM and I also have another stash of syringes now this is the biggest box of syringes I have ever gotten when I picked it up from the pharmacy I was like what better to have more than not have enough there's bags and bags of syringes in here so in here is my Dexacom supplies um, I think I also have some other things in here too my Dexacom I need to order these again these are the G6 Dexacoms 
and I only have one left so I need to call my supplier for Dexacom and have them send more. You definitely want to call earlier before you run out like this. Maybe when you have maybe two left in a box because these last for 10 days. Dexacom has the PDMs so it's a good alternative to have. It comes with a couple of cases. You can also buy more on their website. Also there is a cord to charge the PDM. It's green. I also have a transmitter in here. They last 90 days. I also keep extra alcohol swabs in here. I got these from Kroger. Simply patches for my Dexacom. I love these patches. And I bought these off of Amazon. You know how the adhesive can sometimes like peel off of your skin and you want to make sure that Dexacom stays on your skin. You can use skin tack or you can use these patches or you can use both. I have this kind of like band-aid material. That's it in this box right here. This is my diabetes supply haul or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or want to post pictures or comments about how you organize your diabetes supplies, you know, comment below. Also, if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, channel. I'll greatly appreciate it. Thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!